Hi guys. Um, just going to show you something quick. Uh, this may be obvious to you know some people. I'm sure it probably is, but uh, it's a kind of a handy thing. My Arbor Press um, only has two different size uh, openings in the uh, the base plate, and uh, connectors I'm working with, as quite often happens, are uh, too wide for for one opening and too narrow for the other. So what I'm going to do is uh, use a pair of vice grips and uh, they have a little flange on the side. I can grab right underneath that and uh, I'm just going to tighten it a hair. Alright. And basically just set that in the bottom and knock the pins out. Okay. So I got the jaws off the edge here, but yeah, I think that's all of them. Oh, one to go. Didn't get pushed all the way out. That's it. When is the whistle? Thanks. Hi folks, uh, something else I wanted to show you. Um, I haven't had any of these connectors in a while. I just happened to find a couple that are they're really kind of beat up in a box of connectors I recently bought. Um, so um, I'll make use of them and show you something quick here. Um, these connectors are kind of ingenious because they actually, um, let me get the other one in frame here, they actually use the same pins on both the male and the female. Uh, the only difference is on one side they're uh, sitting in a hole and on the other side they're uh, protruding from the plastic and turned 90 degrees and basically uh, the two uh, little forks just fit one end to the other and uh, that makes your connection. So I'm going to show you the female first since I have that all set up here on my totally beat up vise. Um, and basically what I do with those, um, I have a little screwdriver bit that uh, is exactly the right size to fit that hole and I'm right across the tips of the two pins. So hopefully this will go well. Just tap it right through and then uh, there it is. Pulled right out of the board. And that's what the pins look like. And again, it's the same pin on both sides. Uh, you see the only thing that holds them in is that protruding uh, little tab in the center there. Um, and you might ask why, you know, why I go through this trouble because uh, these connectors are made of that, uh, that turquoise colored plastic which is really kind of, uh, you know, breaks up pretty easily. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm not doing hundreds of pounds. I'm just a hobbyist. And, uh, you guys that are doing that kind of stuff that maybe have presses or have big vices, you know, more power to you. But, uh, I have worked on some of these that were really quite large and, uh, and very thick plastic. I mean, some that were, say, like three by four inches, I would guess, and, uh, quite thick and I think you have trouble just trying to crush it but uh, you know you can get the pins out pretty quickly this way. Um, on the other side we have to do something a little different. I'm gonna cut away the plastic on the sides so I may go out of frame here a little bit doing that. But uh, These are already kinda beat up so cracked and so forth. And what I'm going to do I'll just show you on that pin I have removed already. Um, basically, I'm from the back side of the connector. I'm going to, uh, you know, grab the pin and, and pull it up just a little bit, 
get some uh, uh, you know get a little play there and then uh, oh, I'm sorry I did that backward I'd actually be pulling from this direction so I'm gonna pull it up a little bit just to give me a little better access and then I'm gonna use the tips of these cutters and just uh, squeeze that tab down while it's you know still in the connector so it's more in line and easier to pull through and then I should be able to pull the pin out so we'll see how it goes I'm gonna take a quick look at this out of frame and uh, see what side the uh, pin is facing okay can see will vary even within the same connector so I'm just gonna pull up a little bit and then I'm uh, reaching with the very tips down in there where that tab is and grabbing that in one side of the pin and pushing in that and it didn't go too well let me try it again pushing in that pin yeah, sometimes you gotta pull them up a little higher okay and now I can just push it yeah unless you do something stupid and bend it like that yeah, yeah anyway but uh, once you got it released you can pull it out of the board wrong pin okay um, so anyhow that's the one I just busted off but uh, you know, so basically I, I flattened down that uh, tab a little bit and was able to pull it out of the board all right let me try that one more time since the other one didn't go too well um, I already pulled up on the pin a little bit give it a little extra height and I'm going to grab that tab in the edge just enough to uh, flatten it without uh, without cutting the pin and you see I can actually push it right out of there so and there it is that's it thanks bye